And so really the point is to read labels, you know, understanding that your body absorbs these things even if they don't, you know, make it obvious to you. And that making simple choices and changes over time is really kind of beneficial. Um, you can't you know, control for everything, but what you're able to control for is worth looking into. Um, I have some top changes, um, but really the take home messages are again that, you know, chemicals are everywhere. Don't throw up your hands and say forget about it. Just keep on layering in changes. I've made like one change a month for several years, and that's worked for me because I don't like change. But just change out your six or seven or ten products, and you're really done. But keep up to date because they always are changing, you know, so you want to just make sure that they stay the same level. Um, again, laws are not that helpful to us, so we got to do it ourselves. Um, you know, really body awareness is going to hold on to you for the rest of your life, you're going to be aware. Genetically modified food is a whole other topic for another time. I'm happy to talk about it at some point, but it would just take too long. Um, but you want to go with organic whenever you can. It's the only criteria that we have in this country that has any teeth to it. It's the only thing that's overseen in our food supply. Natural means nothing. Hypoallergenic means nothing. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of labeling that's just not true and really um, misleads the public. Organic happens to be the only thing that we have. Um, and there's different degrees of organic. There's 70 percent. There's 90 percent. Labeling has to be based on how much content is organic, but essentially that's what we have that's valuable. Okay, and you can find cleaning products on that website. You can find better subs, uh, sunscreens. Um, so maybe spend some time and just scroll around to the, uh, the website when you get a chance, ewg.org.